In this video, we're going to show you the three simple steps you need to take to get your drip abandoned cart workflow live so that you can start converting those lost carts. Before we dive in, let's take a look at what we've already set up for you just to make your life a little bit easier. One, your workflow triggers and goals are configured for your e-commerce store. Two, delays are preset to ensure people hear from you at the right time. Three, three basic email templates are provided so you can send emails right out of the gate. Four, your emails are set up to send each time someone enters the workflow, not just the first time. Here are the three simple steps you need to take to start capturing abandoned carts with Drip's workflow. Step one, disable abandoned cart emails from your order management system. So Shopify, WooCommerce, etc. With Drip's workflow and visual email builder, you're gonna have so much more control over the quality and quantity of the emails you send to your people about their abandoned carts. Click on the first send a one-off email step and select edit email to hop into the Drip Visual Email Builder. The body of your email will already include dynamic product blocks to display the items in your customer's cart. Make this email match your brand by adding your header logo and link it with the correct URL for your store. Edit the font and button colors under settings and default styles. Write a subject line and email copy in your brand voice. This is your chance to really let your brand voice shine with your customers. Once your email is built, click preview to see how the email looks on desktop, tablet, and mobile devices. Navigate back to the workflow editor and edit the other emails in this flow. Remember, you don't have to make this fancy. We're just trying to get this live and out the door quickly. After you've completed editing and testing your emails, all you need to do is click Start Workflow up at the top right of the screen. You now know everything you need to get this workflow live. But before you go, here are some other helpful tips and tricks on workflows. Number one, triggers are forward facing. So if you activate this workflow, people who created a cart yesterday wouldn't be receiving any of these emails. Number two, if someone makes a purchase while they're in this flow, they'll actually be pulled down to the green goal at the bottom of the workflow. Goals pull them down so they miss all of the remaining steps prior to that goal. This ensures that your customers don't receive any emails after they make that purchase. Number three, people can only be in a workflow at one time. So you don't have to worry about someone continuously triggering this abandoned cart workflow. Finally, after someone exits, they will be eligible to be pushed back into this. So if they abandon a cart and you recaptured it with this workflow last week, and then next week they go and abandon another cart, they would be triggering this workflow and receiving these emails. Once you activate this abandoned cart workflow, be sure to check out our abandoned cart best practices video to learn more about why abandoned carts are just so important and how to optimize this flow for the future. Cheers.